Hi guys. This is Joma Hilario and you are in the in my webinar and tonight we'll have an interview with Christina Rama. She will teach you the five strategies you can use to get five star reviews from your clients as a virtual professional. Tina is from Cagayan de Oro and she attended my 2012 na seminar the on. So if you can hear this, can you type the word Yes, may pag-asa pa ako. Type niyo yun. Why? Because um, it's been many years since that seminar, 2012, and now she she's back. Okay? She she has an online job since last year, and um, you know that's a big deal. You no, know? uh, even if you did a seminar three years ago, you can still get an online job today if you do the right thing. Okay, so let me know if you can hear me. Uh, we'll also find out from her her history, how she started this um, journey, uh, her reasons for starting the journey, and, and many, many more. Okay, so Tina, if you can uh, hear me, let me know by saying, telling everyone, Kung anong siyudad ka nandito ngayon and how many children do you have? Okay. Good evening, Sir Jomar. Good evening, everyone. Heh. Ulit. Matanggal yung mute. Uh, ulitin mo kasi na-mute mo yung sarili mo. Talagay. Go. Ulit mo, Tina. Okay. Namit mo sarili mo eh. So, no, we, can, we can hear anything. Okay, hello. Uh, good evening, Sir Jomar. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good morning. This, um, my name is Christina Ramas. I work as a VA since 2014. My expertise lies in social media marketing. Because of my kids, I become more motivated with my online task. So on my 39th, I still do cardio exercise. I do the high intensity interval training three times a week. But before I became a VA, I, I work in a finance office. I do cashiering and assessing of the accounts of students. Uh, there was one time when there was an earthquake. So uh, I feel panic in the office. So I, I called up my sister-in-law to keep my kids safe. And because I fear something that my kids wouldn't be safe at all, so I decided that I should stay at home for good and be with my kids. So I decided to look for a craft where I might be able to earn while staying at home. So there was one night when I when I kept on scrolling on my Facebook news feed, I saw um, Sergio Sanchez endorsing Sergio Marginario for a work at home as a virtual assistant in Cagayan de Oro City. So I grabbed the opportunity. So that begins the story of my VA journey. Then I attended the VA seminar in Cagayan de Oro last January of 2012. It was a live seminar where I learned a lot of things. The seminar have helped me achieve my vision because my vision is to work at home as a virtual assistant. Ina, nasan ka sa picture? Sir? Ika naman na lule. Nasan, nasan ka sa picture dito? Ah, sige. Which, which one is you? This one, sir. What are you, no, what are you wearing? Hindi pa din this uh, one. Uh, a long sleeve, sir, nasa ano, pinaka-right. Uh, the one in front? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, nasa front, sir. Oh, yung nakadikit. Ay, nakapikit. Oh, sige. Just... <laughs> Everybody, say hello to Tina. And pakisabi, kaya mo yan kasi kinakabahan siya. Hello, Tina. Hello, Tina. And pakisabi, kaya mo yan kasi kinakabahan siya. Okay. Lagay niyo dyan sa chat room. Kaya mo yan, Tina. We love you. Lagay mo dyan para hindi naman siya matakot sa inyo. Kasi, di ba? Sharing her life to you, hindi naman nila kayo kaw kilala. So, give her some encouragement, okay? Sige, tuloy yan, Dina. Thank you. 
So it was a live seminar, sir. Uh, okay, you know, it had helped me achieve my vision to work at home as a VA. So my VA assignment is all about creating a blog, knowing the applications. And yes, I consider it a one-way challenge. So I completed my VA. It was supposed to be two months, but I completed it in one year due to personal reasons. So I completed it due to my focus, my determination, and my will. Now, it has, it has to be completed because I have the need to work. I have the need to earn while at home. So my talking to my gigs, my first six gig is on social media posting. Then my seventh gig focus on Twitter marketing. Here, I look for key influencer and engage with them. So, yung key influencer ang 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 ginagamit ko yan na app ay yung follower walk. So, sa Twitter kasi uh, you have to make engagement to the audience. So, you have to list down the key influencer and once you engage with them, you can invite them. But hindi pa hindi siya director. You still have to. Uh, make relationship, you have to build relationship with the audience. So on my 8th gig, I create photo and video with my client in Canada. And then on my 9th gig, I review romantic novels of best-selling author, including the uh, the author E.L. E. James of Fifty Shades of Grey and all the other romantic novels. Um, on my 10th gig, I do admin tasks to my client's social media platforms. It includes deep interest marketing, Instagram marketing, Facebook, and also Twitter. So for rejection, rejection inspires, inspires me to learn more. Um, I consider it uh, I consider it a challenge. And now here we go to the five strategies that you can use to get five star reviews from your clients. So according to the according to Upwork, that I became a top-rated freelancer and I have 100% job success because I have the following criteria: the I have rated the job success as 100%, uh, and my earnings is $1,000 plus, and then my availability availability status is up to date, and I have no recent account holds. As as a no. Dina. sir, sir, you have to repeat that slowly. Okay. We did not understand that. <laughs> <laughs> so according to uh, according to Upwork, sir, um, because before you all this paman yun, tapos uh, the change na into Upwork. So sa pag change ng Upwork, right after the change, sir, may nag email sa akin na. I was chosen as a rated freelancer with 100% job success. So I research kung bakit nakatapated ako. Maybe siguro sa five star reviews ko, but I have to research for more para sigurado ako kung bakit nataroon ako ng top rated badge tapos yung five uh, yung 100% job success. So according to to my research sa Upwork na blog, yung job success ko is 90% or higher. So, pasok ako sa, sa top rated na, no? Kasi, yung work ko is with quality and consistency. So, yung job success is based on the quality and the consistency sa, sa trabaho ko. Tapos, in earnings din, yung earning ko is $1,000 up na. Pasok rin siya sa top rated badge. Tapos, yung up to date availability status ko, okay din. Kasi uh, every time my my mag hire sa akin, sinagot ko yun kaagad within 24 hours. So dapat uh, active ka talaga sa site. Kung may nag hire sa yo, sagutin mo kung i decline mo ba ang offer or accept mo. Tapos I have no recent account holds. That's what uh, Port is trying to explain why uh, freelancer got top rated uh, badge. So for me, I have a 
I have to share the strategies na na-experience ko kaya ako nagha kaya may may ano ako five star reviews from clients. So ito ang ginawa ko. So I create a website. I create a website there I share about who I am and what I do. Actually, I don't know about creating a website. It's in the assignment of Sir Jomar uh, last 2012 sa seminar sa Cagayan de Oro. So, this is really important. You have to create a website it's because it is where you will put your your work, your your what you do. So, anong 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 what you can do for your clients. So, pali summary sa mga sa mga taskings mo, yung na-finish na task mo. Tapos, strategy number two is you have to complete your profile in your selected platform. Ang, ang, I have selected the Upwork platform. So, para ma-completo ko siya, uh, I consider the following, your photo, I mean, needed, you have to be professional in your photo. So, you have to create also a professional title. And your overview, you should express what you can do for your client. Important yun. Hindi sa'yo lang what you can do for your client. That's the, that's, that's the secret in your overview section. Now, you have to focus on your skills that are most important and relevant to your category and the jobs that you apply for, just like mine. So, I specialize mo on social media marketing. So, in my category, I chose social media marketing and uh, and researching. Kasi kasabayan ko mag social media ako, mag-research din naman ako. At saka yung graphic, ay yung, ano, yung visual content marketing. Kasi nag, gumagamit din ako ng visual content like with the use of Canva. So, you have to specify the skills that I am using. That I am, that I am, yeah, that I am, I am using. So, so next, strategy number three. Kasi nga, a social media is not constant. Uh, but change siya. So, you have to read, you have to learn in line with your field of expertise. So, ako, ang ginawa ko, nag-subscribe ako ng mga, ng mga, ng mga social media websites kagaya ng social media examiner uh, Kim Gars yung sa Canva kay Dai Kawasaki uh, kay Sir Jomar uh, palagi naman ako updated kasi may Jomar Hilaria Masiri group tapos um, basta mag ano lang mag, you have to read and learn read and read and learn uh, to your chosen field of expertise so for strategy four, you have to give your best to every gig. Kahit hourly, kahit fixed, kahit ano lang, kahit one hour lang ang binigay sa iyo, you have to give your best. Because ang importante naman sa atin sa freelancer, so kagaya na, kagaya ko na BA, is ano, uh, yung reviews. Importante kasi yun, uh, kasi yung, kung may bagong client ka, yun ang tinitingnan nila yung mga reviews. So, you have to give your best to every gig, may it be early or fixed. So, strategy five is to manage your time well. Kasi, um, marami naman tayong role, hindi lang ang pagtatrabaho sa bahay, kundi yung hustle chores, yung pag-take care ng mga kids. So, you have different roles in one persona. So, you have to manage your time well. Sa akin, gumagamit ako ng calendar ko. Tapos, uh, hindi ako na procrastinate ginagawa ko talaga yung kung ano yung nasa calendar. So, I have to follow and I have to discipline myself. That's how I manage time well. So, that's my strategy number five. Now, my favorite app is uh, Follower Wong. Because Follower Wong helps me find the key influencer. So, a key influencer pala ay yung uh, it has uh, frequently post relevant content. Yun ang key influencer. Yan, yan ang hinahanap ko sa Twitter ko. For Twitter, for my audience in Twitter. So, kailangan kong 
malaman kung sino ang key influencer ko. So, key, the criteria for key influencer is yung may uh, frequent post relevant content and one who received a high number of retweets. Meaning that other people are are talking about what we are posting, tweeting and retweeting their posts. Then they have a high number of followers and they receive multiple comments on blogs, blog, uh, blog spots. Then they produce high quality contents and they also have cloud score. So, hindi ko malalaman ito kung walang apps like follower walls. So, importante talaga sa, sa akin, which is until now, I am using it to my to my 10th gig to find key influencer. So, follower walls dig deeper into Twitter analytics. Follower walls helps find and connect with influencers in your niche. Then, here's how you do it. So I go to the follower website, then I search for bios. For example, my audience are foodies, so I have to type foodies. Foodies. So you can also filter it through location, like for example, foodie in Baltimore. I will type foodie space Baltimore. Then here, it will display Twitter users with foodie in their profiles. <clears throat> here in this in this slide. I did not filter it to location. Kaya iba-ibang <clears throat> Kaya nag ano nag-mix yung <clears throat> nag-mix yung location nila pero pwede mo i-filter siya by location. Then it will display Twitter users for, for food in their profiles na. So that ends my sharing. So here's for everyone who are in the process of building up their VA journey. There are two secret tips to newbies. Do finish your website. It's a must. And polish your profile. And then leaving you all a call for today. You may not be there yet, but you one step closer than you were yesterday. That's all for Sir Jomar. for uh, showing us and sharing us your life and for those na hindi alam we actually guested Tina last March 2014 okay, mm. during a webinar about turning point so remind natin sa kanila bakit ka nga nag work from home things baka hindi nila alam ng dahilan mo pinaka importante yung why can you tell us that I work from home kasi ano yung may ano na may earthquake tapos um, yung mga yung mga anak ko na sa bahay lang tapos wala parang hindi ako uh, comfortable na mag-isip na sa office ako tapos sila nandito baka ano nang nangyari sa kanila so sabi ko um, we are more important than my work so the following week or yung pag uwi ko sa bahay Nag-isip ako na I have to work at home. Ano, I have to stay at home pa kasi hindi ko pa alam kung paano mag-work kasi hindi ko pa alam kung how to get started. So, sabi ko, I have to stay at home for good and take care of them. But, I want to earn. But, I I don't want to earn um, like doing MLM. Uh, I want to earn like having an office in a home. So, yan ang nagpapag-trigger sa akin na mag-stay ako for sa bahay at saka mag-work at home. Para din sa mga anak ko kasi para safe sila na dito ako, I can keep an eye on them every day. So, gano'n na Sir Jomar. Um, because of them, so parang safe sila. Para makita ko sila every day, I decided to stay at home. <clears throat> but yun nga, uh, stay at home, but I want to be productive. That's why I bought a PC 
kibot yung yung ano talaga yung uh, faster ano yung high memory tapos yung ano ko yung CPU bago lahat kahit hindi ko pa alam paano so buti na lang at nakita ko nga yung ano yung news feed ko sa Facebook nakita ko si Sir Jomar na in-endure siya ni ano ni Bo Sanchez yun na na um, able, I am able to begin may to I am able to begin to fulfill my vision to work at home as a virtual assistant So how how old are your children and tell us their names? Okay, um, the, I have six kids. I have six kids, and my husband is a um bago na kapag promote as kapitan siya ngayon na uh, nasayon siya sa ano lalo din sure as sa ano siya sa PNP. At uh, ako I have to juggle my role as a wife, as a mother, and as a VA is working at home. Um. So my kids, I have six kids. So my eldest is sixteen uh, years old, and then second is gay six na. Tapos yung third is grade three. Tapos yung fourth is uh, grade grade two. And then yung fifth is five years old, and then your sixth is three years old. Uh, Anim sila happy kami dito. Tapos ano? Um, Well, uh, hindi, hindi sila sagaba sa mga trabaho ko. Basta ano lang, um, manage time well lang. At saka, ano, um, because I work, I work, uh, I usually work kung tulog na sila. That's, that's the advantage of working at home. You can choose your time when to work, when to have, when to have your kids. At least, nakita mo sila every day. Um, Yes, yeah, Sir Jomar. Uh, alin sila? Tapos, okay lang kasi masaya at uh, na-manage ko naman yung time ko. Wala akong katulong, Sir Jomar. Walang. Kaya nga sabi, sabi ng mga kaibigan ko, uh, how did I do it? Sabi ko, ewan ko basta lang, nag-manage na ako ng time. Pero kung hindi ko na kaya, I delegate my chores. Yung bang nag-ano na ako, nag- 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 nag ano na ako na tumawag na ako sa mga neighborhood tapos magpalaba lang ganun pero hindi talaga na yung everyday nandito sila dito sila matulog hindi kung hindi ko na kaya kasi yung mga mga household chores easy sila naman yun i-washing ko lang yung mga ano labada tapos mamaya na yan ganun ako may time na ako sunod na yan ganun po basta kaya ano yung ano ko lang yung calendar ko masunod ko lang yun okay naman ang lahat ma-finish ko naman ang task ko Yan, Sir Jomar. Okay, very good. Thank you for telling us all those pointers para nakikita nila yung ano, eksena sa bahay niya. Very important. <laughs> so, um, I would like to pagmamalaki-laki ito ng konti, ha? Sali lang, ha? So, for those na gusto yung malaman anong ginawa ni Tina, I'll show you instead of just tell you anong ginawa ni Tina. Kasi pag, if somebody tries to hire you, no, so internet, titignan nila yung google ka nila. So, pag nag-google ka, is Tina Ramas, Siyempre, mayroong virtual, hindi lang pwede first name, last name. Mm-hmm. Ang una nila makikita yung about me ni Tina. So, ano ba yan? Buksan natin, di ba? About me. Tapos after that, makikita nila yung interview ni Tina with, sa akin as a virtual professional last year. Ito yung about me niya. Oh. So, very simple one pager, it's her about me. It's the one that appears in the very top of her Google search. Tapos mag-scroll down natin ng konti, may quotes from Abraham Lincoln. Pwede, kasi di ba, Amerikano si Abraham Lincoln. Ito yung kanyang, ano yung kaya niyang gawin? Twitter marketing, admin, website building. Yun lang, very simple. Yun yung kanyang about me. Let's go back. Kita mo yung about me. After that, yung interview. After that, yung LinkedIn niya. Then a YouTube video. Then her Twitter. And then some professional looking images. And then Pinterest. And then yung yung post ko kanina. So, generally speaking, Christina Ramas virtual took over the entire thing. Uh, took over the entire search results. Tingnan mo mabuti ha. Pagpunta niyo dun sa, ito yung lalabas eh, yung last year na uh, interview with her. Lama siya itong datingin sa foreigner. 
pagtingin yung about me, yung dati, pagtingin yung kanyang blog, ito yung blog niya, ito yung sa portfolio. So, kita mo mayroon itong YouTube, mayroon dito like, share, na hindi pinafollow yung instructions ko, okay ba? Tapos, <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh, naman eh kasi 10 lang yung slides niya eh. Dahil hindi pwedeng 10 mm-hmm. lang pa karami. Oh. Anyway, tapos as it is importante. This is he describing herself and saying he is a subscriber of blah blah blah. Ito mga tao sikat na to. I can help you. Ito yung mga skills na kaya niyang gawin. And for those na nagtatanong, ang dapat mo alam na apps ay eh, no. Masahin na lang. Nandiyan rin yung list of apps and list of skills na kaya niyang gawin. I'm scroll down so slowly. So, it is sinasabi yung polish your profile. Kino ka, anong tinature ng vlogs mo, subscriber ka ng anong mga vloggers, dapat hindi yung Jomar Hilary, hindi naman yung Dapat yung ano, yung mas sikat pa. Tutulad nila Michael Hyatt, John Loomer, what I do. Again, not following my instructions, pero hindi na mo, kahit hindi na ko follow instructions, may you kasi eh. You, basta may you, okay na yan. Tapos, ito yung mga kapalin niyang gawin sa Twitter, sa Facebook, sa YouTube, sa WordPress, sa SlideShare. Tapos sa dulo may listahan para itong ano, resume na nandun na lahat ng kaya niyang gawin. Ito yung mga sa eh, hindi pa tayo tapos. Yan pa lang yung striking din na vlog niya. Meron pa siyang WordPress vlog ito. Nauna. Nauna-una pa. WordPress vlog. Of course, this, not, this did not follow my instructions again. Pero anyway. Oo nga sir. Basta may gusto ang ginawa. Basta meron akong WordPress. <laughs> kasi ang taong walang ginawa, alam mo walang alam. Ang taong may ginawa, alam mo, okay, uh, Uh, may may alam gawin. So, yun ang importante dyan. Eh. Napakita niya na kaya niyang gawin. Wordpress, kaya niyang gawin yung striking D. And, meron din siyang clish. Meron din siyang, ano, uh, 2013 na Twitter na may laman. Alam mo yun, merong... May, wala na yun. Uh, yung, ano, sir, yung kristinaramas.com ko, hindi na ako nag-renew. Ito, hindi na to masyadong active. O, yun, so, ano, kasi, kasi, ano, nag... Uh, I am planning to venture a new one. So, in- inactive muna yun. Okay. So, yun yung mga ginawa niya. All of those, all of you guys na, ano, na uh, nag Paano ba magsimula? Ayan, actually, uh, ginawa niya na ko. Yung self, ikaw na sumagot. Paano ba magsimula? Ayan. Sa, ano? Ayan. Uh, I'm pretty sure after you said how you started, natanungin pa rin nila. So, paano ako magsisimula? Ikaw na sumagot. So how you get how to start being a VA? So sa, sa ano sa the very first thing na ginawa ko is I make a website. So hindi man lang yung ano yung paid website. Uh, I navigated in the WordPress free yung free mo na ang inavigate mo. So kung manavigate mo na yung free website yung sa WordPress talaga. Meron ka ng idea. So, if if there comes a time na gusto mo nang magkaroon ng paid website, so, it will not be, uh, it, will, it will be easy for you to navigate na. Kasi yung free na WordPress, tapos yung mag-paid ka, paid site ka, pare-pareho lang ang navigation nun. Ang sa paid site lang ay may additional, uh, may additional na plug-in. Na ma-enjoy mo talaga ang plug-in para yung website mo mukhang ano, maganda siya. So, yun ang difference sa paid at saka sa ano, yung free. At saka sa paid website, marami kang uh, marami kang ano, ma, na-navigate kasi sa'yo yun ang website, sa'yo yun ang website na yun kasi binayaran mo. So, to sum up, how to get started is you have to create a website. So, begin with a free website in WordPress. So, number two, Uh, uh, mag-ano ka, mag, mag-register ka to your chosen a platform. Uh, pwede, pwede ka sa ano, kung Upwork o sa freelancers o online jobs sa page. O sa akin, sa Upwork. I-polish mo lang yung profile mo. Sundin mo lang yung instruction kung anong 
instruction ang binigay ng ano kasi mag-email naman sila sa iyo kung anong kulang tapos yung kulang i-ano mo i-fill up i-fill up mo yon so yun lang you have to create a site you have to uh, polish your profile tapos kung mayroon ka na 100% na yung profile mo maghanap ka na ng ano ng gig so maghanap ka na ng gig mayroon naman dong find work ang ano ngayon ang tanong ngayon kung anong skill ang ang ano mo ang ilagay mo sa sa ano mo sa profile mo sa akin yung very first talaga wala pa naman talaga akong skill pero yung pag attend ko kay Sir Jomar na seminar yung slides your presentation na ginawa ko skill naman yun di ano ah uh, I put there I know how to create a slide share presentation yung basic in Facebook posting yung basic lang kasi yung ibang client naman hindi ka naman ipag ibigyan ng task ng Facebook ads ganon ang ibang client ang ibigay naman sa yung basic lang yung magpost ka lang ng ano ng status sa Facebook eh di may gig ka na o tapos ano yun ilagay mo Facebook posting slide share presentation you can make a blog through free uh, through WordPress you can navigate ganon uh, so you can add you know how to add pages how to add how to add um, content sa WordPress yun lang yun yung pwede na yung mga skills mga lagay mo sa skills mo um, so kung meron ka ng skills na polish under yan sa polish ng profile mo yung mga skills mo kung meron ka na doon pwede ka na maghanap ng gig tapos di Meron namang incident na yung client naman ang mag, ano sa iyo mag-invite. So kung ano yung task na ibigay sa iyo, eh pag ano i-study mo lang yun, i-google mo yun ano sa ano sa example no, sabihin niya uh, you know how to manage Twitter profile. Sa akin kasi yung ano, you know how to manage Twitter? Yes, kahit hindi ko pa alam. Tapos kinugol ko lang talaga lahat. Nag ano na research na talaga ako kung paano. Tapos Um, si client naman, nagbigay naman yan ng tips. So, nag-study ka lang for a week. Um, I-observe mo lang yung lahat. After a week, relax ka na kasi naka-register naka, ano na, naka na lahat sa, sa brain mo yung ginagawa mo. So, ganyan lang naman talaga ang tip on how to get started. Ayan, and also how to get started, no? On the topic of how to get started, uh, our recommendation is dalawa, no? so for for those of you who know na may nag-exist na libro, you can start by buying the book, uh, Virtual Careers book. Uh, wala pa sa bookstore ang Virtual Careers na libro, so hindi nyo mabibilihan sa bookstore, okay? You can buy it uh, in a website, okay? It's called Virtual Careers book dot com slash buy okay so so that's one way to start you go to virtual careers book dot com slash buy the first time na. and for those na interested sa isang seminar okay na video lalo na yung mga wala sa Pilipinas as nila ilitin ko lang yung website ng book ha virtual careers book dot com slash buy Sana, sana maroon mo ako mag-spelling ng careers. Okay, mali. Mali-mali. Virtualcareersbook.com slash pa. I'm gonna post it in the chat room so you can see it. That's where you can buy the book for those na nagkahanap ng uh, copia of how to be gay. Now, that, that, the reason why I made the book is because hindi na ako nagsaseminar sa places like Kendi Oro or Cebu. Okay, so I'm not being invited there, so might as well kayo, uh, you can book it. Now, another way to get started is to get a book. Now, another option for you to begin is, for example, you know, you have a book, 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 may libro, pero kulang. Alam mo yun, hindi sila makakilos kahit may libro. Tapos na yung libro, pero not enough. So, what you can do is get yourself the date with freedom video. 
Okay. So the David Freedom is the course na na up to date version ng inattendan ni ano ko. Na seminar ni Christine Takagan de Oro. So that was 2012 that uh, seminar. So if you want the, the latest version of uh, that seminar, it's called Date with Freedom. I'm going to give you the link here right now. I'm going to give you yung ano ah, Date with Freedom na installment version para mas uh, maganda. So, instead of attending, uh, okay, you can't attend because of stuff. Tapos lang ito may uh, So, you can now, ano, you can just get the downloadable uh, version of the seminar. Uh, let me just give you the installment version para mas, ano, mas affordable. Okay ba? So, ayan. Now, it's also important to know na dala ko lang dala dito. Kung meron po kayong tanong, sabihin niyo na po yung tanong. Uh, like, you have a question with or for, for team, for Tina. Okay niya, sabihin niyo na rin po. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Kaya ako lang dala dala dito. Para, para makapagbigyan kayo ng pagkakataon magtanong. Okay? In the meantime, I'm also going to give you the website for the day with freedom. So, so you have two choices. Uh, choice one being get the book. Uh, wala akong international shipping sa book yet. It's all local. Uh, and then the second choice is to get the date with freedom. Which is a nine day seminar actually. Now, meron pa kasi kayo kasing actually ito pa choice, pero um, hindi ako tumatanggap ng super beginner on on March, on March today, on November, uh, November 14, meron ano, a seminar ako. It's a half day seminar. Um, it, it will teach you new skills. Lalo na sa mga taong, ay wala naman akong alam eh. I mean, Kumar, ang hina na nga ng confidence ko sa sarili ko, wala pa masyadong alam sa internet. So how do I begin? Kung ganon. Pwede bang makausap ng tao? Ayan, ganon. So if you wanna talk to a human being, I have an event in November 14. That's a Saturday. And then you can join us. Pero may crash. Bawal pumunta doon ang hindi pa nakakabasa ng libro. Okay? Now that's the November 14 na uh, half day seminar. You should have already read the book by November 14. Bakit? Kasi hindi yan basic na seminar. It's a, a seminar na pagpasok mo doon, tuturuan ka agad ng skills. Pwede magtanong, sino sa inyo ang interested matuto ng brand new skills sa internet? Skills you normally would not learn outside of a, of a company. May maraming ganun, di ba? So, sa school, matututunan yung essay writing. Pero pagdating sa sales letter writing, ah, hindi mo matututunan yung school. Okay? So, you can learn uh, brand new skills. At tawag sa skills na to is growth hacking skills. Okay? This is the set of skills na mataas ang demand na yun. Okay? Um, it also includes data science, data science skills, data gaining skills. Essentially, mga skills na hindi nyo naman alam, kaya nga ituturo. <laughs> diba? O di na may mga tanong na, you might want to answer the questions. Ina? Yes, yes, Sir Jomar? Sa chat room. Kita mo sa chat room. Hello. Sige, ako na lang mag-ano, ako na lang babasa for you. Nakalagay, nung social media manager ka, anong mga skills ang dapat malaman mo bago ka mag-apply? Tanong ni Ana. Um, kung social media manager ka, dapat marunong kang maghanap ng key influencer. Uh, because 
maghanap ka ng key influencer, gumamit ka ng application, uh, follower, follower work application, tapos marunong kang mag-research for, for the post related to your client's niche, ganun lang. Pero may, kung yun sa Facebook ads, hindi ako ang gumagawa nun kasi yung client ko ang nag-boost ng post. So what I did is yung research, uh, yung visual content, I make use of the Canva app, and also yung, uh, yun nga, yung visual content, tapos yung with the use of Canva, and then research, kasi hindi naman palaging nag-post ako ng, ano, ng, ng, Uh, yung visual content, meron din ng mga ano, yung blog, yung mga i-share ko ng mga articles. So, you have to do research. At, uh, dapat malaman mo rin yung ano yung kung saan yung yung best time to post updates. Yun lang kasi sa Twitter, meron namang ano, mag-research ka lang kung anong time ang um, Anong time interval na pwede mong mag-post ng mga tweets? Sa Facebook din, ang recommended according to my client is twice a day. Sa according sa ano niya, sa criteria ng ano niya, ng reach niya. So marunong ka lang mag-post, uh, marunong ka mag-research, marunong ka magawa ng visual content. Pwede ka, rin, pwede ka na mag-social media manager. And marunong ka rin mag-mixing. Yan lang. Oh, thank you for the answer. Ito pang tanong ay, uh, ilang days is it taking before mag-reply yung mga ina-applyan mo sa Upwork? Ah, sa, 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 sa experience ko, yung nag-apply ako, palagi okay. mag-decline. Sa akin, oh, yung palaging decline yung ako ang mag-apply. Pero itong mga gigs ko ngayon, hindi ako nag-apply nito. Yung mga clients ko ang nag-invite. So, ang ginawa ko, hindi na ako nag-apply. Naghintay na lang ako kung may client na nag-invite. Pero may once na nag-apply ako, ang technique kasi sa Upwork, kung nag-ano sila, nag-post sila ng job offer nila, 30 minutes. Yung 30 minutes pa, i-grab mo na yun. Mag-apply ka kaagad. Kasi kung one hour ago, two hours ago, parang, parang hindi na sila mag-reply. So, if ever makita mo na may two minutes ago, yun na, eh, ano mo na, i-grab eh, mo na yun, mag-apply ka kagad. Kasi yun ang teknik ko sa, ano pala, dalawang clients ko. Pag nakita ko, ah, posted two minutes ago, ano na, mag magawa na ako ng cover letter, tapos, eh, ano ko na, ipasa ko na. Tapos yun, mag, mag, ano, mag, you make conversation to the client right away, at the, ah, uh, ano ka na niya, ma, may possibility na ma, nakuha ka niya. Yun ang technique. So, by 30 minutes, ang uh, maximum lang sa akin yung 30 minutes. Kasi kung 2 hours ago, parang hindi na sila mag replies according sa observation ko. At yung iba, yung mga, mga clients, nag-invite lang sila sa akin at in-accept ko lang sila. Yun lang. Hey, very good. Thank you for the answer na super detailed. So, tanong, uh, sa pa, uh, please, tanong ni Elizabeth, please describe your daily schedule. So, daily schedule ko, uh, ngayon, ano, um, may, kal may, may ginawa kong calendar. So, dapat sa morning, uh, kasi ano, uh, social media nga, hindi man ka palagi magpo-post. So, you have to post three times a day, you have to tweet. Ang malaki lang na makuha ng oras mo ay yung researching at saka yung visual content kasi maghanap ka ng magandang image. Um, so, morning, nag-ano na ako, um, breakfast, tapos pinaliguan yung mga bata, tapos yung iba nag-aral na, tapos may time na ako sa sarili ko, doon ko na inano yung mga trabaho ko. So, mag-research ako in advance, then tapos ano na naman, uh, lunch. After lunch, patulogin ko mga bata. Tapos, um, magtulog na sila. Magtrabaho na naman ako. Eh, kung gabi naman, ano, dinner na naman. Tapos, pag 9 o'clock, patrabaho na naman ako. Um, yung sa ano, yung sa mga I wash clothes uh, thrice a week naman. Tapos, kung 
hindi ka lang kaya, dinilegate ko yung ano, mga chores ko. Hindi pwedeng akuhin ko naman lahat. Makamano ako. So, I had to delegate other chores na pwedeng madelegate ko sa iba. Tapos nagbabayad lang ako. Yun lang. Parang malaitin yung trabaho ko. Um, Ganun lang yun. Tapos yung mga kids ko naman, disiplin, disiplinado naman sila. Alam nilang yung work ko, hindi sila lang ano, hindi sila lang pa, ah, they understand what I'm doing. Yun lang. Okay, thank you so much for the answer. I'll just answer some questions regarding the seminar on November 14. Uh, no, it's not a free seminar. Uh, we don't do free seminars because the webinars are already free. Um, the website to go to pay for the seminar, since it's not free, I'm going to change the website name para mas direct kayo. It's uh, Virtual Skills Monthly. Pay directly. The, the website to go to is bigdari.com slash virtual skills podcast. And the Philippine Libre Ang Seminar na yan. Uh, the value you will get from the seminar is actually directly related to the price of the seminar. So we don't want, you want people to find value in the seminar, okay? Uh, iba, Christina, libre ba yung kagayang di oro seminar natin? Hindi, sir. Paid yun. Eh, ba't ka nagbayad? Sir? Ba't ka no. nagbayad? Kasi ano, uh, live seminar siya sa ano, sa Vermont. May ano naman, uh, paid uh, you have to pay the registration. Eh, bakit? Nagbayad na, ako. Man, nagbayad man, ako. Man, sa mga yun, may bayad. Hindi, uh, nagbayad ako kasi nga, uh, interesado ako. Tapos, um, uh, um, Ano talaga, this, I am decided talaga na maka-work at home. So, nagbayad talaga ako. Para malaman ko ang mga tips, yung paano, how to get started. Yun na, nagbayad ako pa agad. So, uh, meron ka bang advice sa mga taong, ano, nag-iisip, ayoko na may bayad? <laughs> Kasi, um, para sa akin, ano, uh, magbayad ka, you have to pay for, ano, for, kung meron man yung mga courses, kung interesado ka talaga nga, ma-upgrade mo yung skill mo, magbayad ka kasi, ano, meron man yung mga, mga, mga tips na ibigay sa'yo, yung kompleto talaga mga tips. Kasi yung sa mga free lang, limited lang kasi yun. So, dito sa online, may nag-avail din ako yung mga free, pero limited lang, dapat nang mag, ano, ma- dig deeper para ma-upgrade mo yung skills mo. So, you have to pay for that. Yung sa akin kay Sir Joma, yung live seminar dito sa Cagayan de Oro, nagbayad talaga ako. At, ano, uh, worth talaga yung bayad ko kasi marami akong nalaman. Yan lang, uh, sir. Thank you. At Tina, last question for you. Ay, last question na tayo. What tips can you share on creating your profile that will be attractive to clients? Uh, so, creating your profile? Profile sa Upwork. Ah, uh, sa Upwork. Ah, uh, so, ano lang, sa Upwork, may, ano naman, verified, parang yung may ID ba yun sa ano? Well, hindi ko na kasi, ano na yun, uh, 2013 pa, uh, 2014 ko yata yung basta mo, i-complete mo lang yung profile mo, Tapos, um, may verified phone number pala. Verified yung phone number mo, i-register mo yung uh, sa, uh, sa mobile number mo, i-register mo sa, ano, sa Upwork. Tapos, i-verify mo yun. Pag ma-verified na yun, may check mark na. Tapos, mayroon pa yung mga verification. I-ano mo lang yun, susundin mo lang yung mga instruction nila. Tapos, pag 100% ka na, ano na, trusted ka naman, ka na, Ma, may ano naman, may trust naman yung client mo pag 100% na yung profile mo. I, ano mo lang, sundin mo lang yung instruction ng Upwork. Yan na, sir. Yan, ang nabili na sa inyo, ang sagot. 
So thank you very much for uh, answering those questions, Dean. And thank you everyone uh, for uh, asking the questions. Let me just add in, that lang just now for those who are interested in joining the November 14th seminar. Meron libreng libro kasama yun, kasi nga hindi ka pwede mag-attend kung kung pala babasa yung libro. Because it won't work. The only way ma-mindingihan mo yun is nabasa mo na yung book. So what we're going to do, if you're going to join the November 14th as a new member, Uh, ano, libre na yung libro mo. We're actually going to send you the virtual service book in advance. So, the earlier you join uh, the November 14th seminar, just half day, uh, uh, the, the better, mas prepared ka for the question. We're going to be giving out some other bonuses regarding the November 14th event. Uh, uh, wait na lang kayo sa announcements sa Facebook. But, First uh, bonus will be a free book for those who will attend uh, the November 14th seminar. Now, this is for new members, okay? For new members, so may mga old members na kasi yan eh. Hindi applicable sa old members po yung okay? So, this is a technical seminar, hindi po basic seminar. We will give time for your questions later. But if you're in the seminar, ang goal lang natin sa seminar is makamit ng virtual professional people already working on a personal level and we also want to meet mga entrepreneurs na pwede tayong i-hire that's the special thing about this type of seminar it's half day lang okay and we will be spending if you know if you join we will also be giving you up some bonus sessions pag may parangan sa mga tanong nila For the first timers, I never conduct one in day events. Lang. It's always multi day. So this, uh, this is also not an exception. There will all also be a bonus session para masagot yung mga tanong. But um, make sure when you go into the ano, November 14th, ready, ready na yung isip niya matutun ng mga teki teki, okay? Teki agad ang bagsak natin. Wala tayong inspirational. Kasi all that stuff nilinig ko na sa libro, okay? Let's see if it works, right? So there's because there'll be a lot of webinars leading up to the November 14th seminar. So we're gonna have an inspiration and to see if you're a real person to ask her question. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for this webinar. Thank you, Tina, for you know giving us an hour of your life. So this year and last year, right? It's for me, my family now. Mga nanay na walang iaya, mga, mga tao na maraming anak, like me, <laughs> to, to work from home. Thank you so much for being the savior of your family. Okay, thank you everyone, guys. Balak pa na siya. Ano na? Two thousand twelve pa yung seminar last year that we started. Galing. God bless sa inyo, and we pray for everyone listening. The light. To the live seminar, uh, to the live uh, webinar and uh, recording. God bless you know, if you be inspired by the story of okay. you. Okay, goodbye muna. Ikaw na mag-last goodbye din. Okay. Uh, out now, okay? Okay, salamat sa lahat na nag-attend sa webinar. Good night. Good night again and uh, the webinar will stay on for questions. Uh, Jasmine sa sagot sa inyo. But for me, Quiet now, yeah. Hey, God bless. Thank you so much, Tina. See you soon.
By the way, if you learned anything and you want to share what you learned, uh, I just want to show you yung website where we actually plug in yung mga learnings. It's called Webinar Lessons. If you have three major lessons you want to share, just plug it into this webinar, jhilari.com slash webinar lessons. Thank you so much.